Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be doing this very cool toned, icy kind of vibe look that I'm wearing right now. I hadn't planned it at all, I just kind of went in and just created this and I've never done a look using these kind of cool tones before so I thought I would do something different and this is the look that came out and I'm actually really happy with it so if you'd like to know how I created this look and the products I use be sure to give the video a huge thumbs up and keep watching please. I think I'm going to start off with the face today um, so I've already moisturised my skin and then I've already done my brows as well um, so yeah let's just get straight into skin. Primer, um, I wanted to try the e.l.f lock on face primer again so I used this for the first time in my first impressions video and it was just the most sticky glue like thing I've ever put on my face um, and I didn't like it the first time I tried it but I thought I need to try it again to give it a fair shot and I just haven't used it since so but last time I patted it into the skin and clearly that didn't work Um, and that time I wasn't sure if it was um, the foundation or the primer because I did try obviously two new products. The e.l.f. website it had a really high rating so I don't know maybe it's just not right for me but okay. So it's on. So this is as on as it's going to get. So for foundation today I'm going to use a trusty foundation so if anything goes wrong with the skin I know it's going to be the primer because I'm using a powder, foundation, concealer, everything else I've already used before so it can't be them. So I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation and mine is in the shade 220. Actually before I apply foundation I'm just going to use some concealer and just kind of conceal some of the spots I've got because it's that time I'm breaking out again and I've got one here. Um, and I can't be bothered going over to my drawers to get my Makeup Forever kit out. So I'm just going to use the concealer that I'm going to use today, which is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. And mine is in the shade Medium Tawny. So nothing's balling up or, like, nothing's come off. So... Maybe in that first impressions video it was in fact the foundation and not the primer so see this is why you have to try stuff more than once because a lot of the time you either use something wrong or in the wrong way and yeah. So for concealer I'm just going to use obviously the same Wet n Wild concealer. While that's kind of chilling on my face. <clears throat> I guess I'm gonna powder. Yes, I will. So I've been doing this a lot. I've just kind of been leaving my um, concealer to kind of dry up in a weird way. Not completely dry, but I don't know. I just feel like it kind of makes the coverage a bit more full if you kind of leave it for a few, like 30 seconds to a minute and then blend it out. I feel like it keeps your coverage then. It doesn't just, especially when you use a beauty blender, like it doesn't soak up. Um, as much product if you kind of leave it for a bit, so that's what I've been doing. I'm just drinking some tea. This is a new powder that I've been using this week and I love it. It's the Milani Prep Set and Glow Illuminating Powder. So that is what it looks like. It's just a transparent powder and it is actually transparent. It doesn't uh, leave a white cast on your face either. I love it. Um, and it's Milani. It's so affordable. Um, the only thing is I haven't checked it with, you know, like, using flash yet, so I don't know if it's gonna, I don't know yet, so. If this flashes back, I'm gonna be really, really sad. Does it have SPF in it or anything? It doesn't say HD, and usually, usually HD powders, uh, tend to flash back, and it doesn't say anything about it being HD on here, so. And then I'm just going to blend out all the concealer. I need to move to the States. I... That's my goal in life. Like, when I was younger, I always wanted to move to LA. Like, that was, like, my little kid dream because I was just young. But now I genuinely want to. Like, I think when I'm older, you know, and we'll see what happens, but I think I do want to move to LA. Okay, so to set the under eyes, I'm just going to use my Makeup Revolution Banana Powder. I love this stuff. I've got back into it. Um... So I'm just going to use my mini Real Techniques 
concealer sponge. I'm just going to mattify my T-zone. Probably going to just finish off the face. So I'm going to be using the Soph and Makeup Revolution highlighting palette which looks like this and I think I'm actually going to use the pink the pink and the purple and maybe a bit of the white I'm not sure and see how we go I'm just going to spray some setting spray on the brush I just want it to look super super good so That's actually quite nice. I've never, you know what, this is the first time I'm ever using a purple highlighter. And I always brush it upwards so it's not going down onto the highlight because you don't want to mattify the highlight. So for bronzer, well I'm not going to really use um, much bronzer or anything. I think I'm just going to contour. Um, so I'm going to use the Wet n Wild kind of contour duo. It's contour and highlight duo and it's in the shade uh, Dulce de Leche. So I'm going to use that and I'm just going to use the contour shade. So I'm just going to use this on the hollows of my cheekbones. And I'm going to use the MUA blush in the shade Lolly. So that's what it looks like. So I'm just going to use my Pixie Milky Mist. Oh my god, it's running out. I need to get more of this. So I'm just going to take away all any powderiness. Okay, so I'm back and this is what I ended up doing for the eye look. So it's a very, very, this is the most cool toned eyeshadow look I've ever done in my life. So I've already primed my eyes and I just set it down with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder so everything is set. Eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the Morphe 39A eyeshadow palette again and I'm just going to mix this shade and this shade together and I'm just going to apply those into the crease um, just for some transition colours. Now, once I've done that, I've kind of dipped into another palette as well. So I'm going to be using the um, MUA Silent Disco Eyeshadow Palette. So it looks like this. And what I did was I mixed this icy blue shade, like, that looks like that. And I mixed it with this kind of teal green. So I mixed these two shades together. And I applied these just slightly lower than the browns in the crease. <coughs> Apologies. So as you can see, it's kind of making that kind of dark green shade in the crease now. Then I'm going to take this really icy blue shade from the Morphe palette just here. And I know it's a shimmery shade, but... I don't have any more matte, light, bright blue shades, so I'm just going to use that in the crease as well. And that's just because that shade's got a lot more pigment than the MUA ones, I'm just going to use that to lay it over top of those two. It's just like that, and it's a bit of a softer, paler blue as well, it's more icy, so it's going to look a lot more nicer in the transition. And then I'm just going to carve out the lid. I used to be so bad at doing cut creases and like carving out the lid. And I don't know why because it's so easy. You just follow, you know, you just follow your eye shape. So I'm just going to take this kind of into 
kind of like three quarters of my lid stop it about there and then I just usually take my finger and just kind of like blend that out part then for the lid shade I'm going to be taking the Colourpop Super Shock Shadow and it is in the shade Sugar and that's what it looks like because I feel like they don't need it and then I'm just, again I'm still going to pat it and I'm just going to follow the cut crease um, I'm now going to add some glitter glue just to the centre part of my eyelid and then I'm going to add some actual glitter so I'm just taking, oh sorry I didn't show you what I used this is the NYX glitter glue, it's literally the best glitter glue ever so I'm just going to add that in the centre, literally right in the centre then I'm going to take this Barry M Dazzle Dust Glitter and it's in the shade 9, I don't know, That's it just says number 9 on the back and that's what the shade looks like anyway, it's just this really nice silver icy shade so that's most of the eye pretty much finished I'm going to take that small brush and I'm going to just take the two transition colours from the Morphe palette and just blend kind of the outer part of the cut crease. I'm going to take shade this shade here and just apply this in the outer corner of the eye. For eyeliner I'm going to use one of my favourite liquid liners and it is the Rimmel Exaggerate Eyeliner and it's just in a little tube like that. To create a wing I'm just going to line my lid with it, my lash line even. Then I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and apply some mascara. Mascara, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Colossal Mascara and this is just the black one. It's one of my favourite mascaras at the drugstore now. Love it. Because it purely just volumises them and it doesn't um, kind of spread them out so much. It keeps them, you know, you know in a cluster and it keeps them volumised. Which is why I love... Okay, so you can completely add eyelashes, like false eyelashes. I just, I just can't. Like, I have, like I've bought eye fake eyelashes and I've got them like in my drawers and stuff, and I keep wanting to try them and use them, but I just can never be bothered. And I have quite really long, well, I have really long eyelashes anyway, so I never use any. Maybe I'll get around to it someday, but you know, who knows? <coughs> to finish off the eyes. I'm then gonna take this. LA Girl Glide On Liner, so it's the same as the black one but it's just in a blue shade and it's called Royal Blue and I'm going to just use this on my waterline and these are so pigmented, they're so creamy look like that, you can see it like that one there I just thought it would kind of tie in with the whole look I'm just going to take the shade, what shade should I take? Mm. Take Shimmer Shimmer, which is this shade right here, and I'm just going to apply that in the inner corner and also the brow bone. Oh, I love this. This is the best brow bone and inner corner highlight ever. Ooh, girl. So I didn't want anything too, too heavy for the lips so I've just got the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Tiramisu this is literally one of my favourite butter glosses from NYX I love them so yeah that is what you know what I don't know if this is too pink or does it go Neck 
concludes this video guys thank you so much for watching and please remember to give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and yeah i will see you in my next video bye for brown <coughs> mm. dog shush oh it's gone cold yes bitch